Let's talk Steelers football. Kenny Pickett coming back against the mm-hmm. Las Vegas Raiders Christmas Eve. This is, for some reason, the game that everybody seems to highlight. Steven highlighted it the other day. I had Nick Berlansky on here a week ago. He said the same thing. Derek, I believe, said the same thing. That This is the game that worries them. If you could get past the Raiders, mm-hmm. they feel that they could win out. Kenny Pickett's back. I want your thoughts on Kenny Pickett and also... Do you think that this is the game that the Steelers have to worry about the most? I was going to say, you know, I kind of share that sentiment just because of the historical context, you know, their issues with the Raiders. Um, You know, historically, the Raiders have given us trouble, whether it's at home or on the road. Um, I also look at what the cornerback room has been like, probably the weakness. I mean, really good performance against the Panthers from the defense. But I look at the cornerback performance and say, that's probably the one thing that I can highlight in a negative way from that game. Um, And think about a guy like Devontae Adams on the other side, who's going to give them fits, regardless of if they had a strong cornerback room or not. Um, You know, and I, I think Derek Carr, who I've always been higher on, has taken a step back this year, which is odd considering you get a guy like Devontae Adams in that room. Um, but yeah, I, I think like even, you know, since the bye week, even with Cincinnati on the schedule um, and, and everybody else, this was the one game that I was looking at. Like, man, I, I this is one that I think, you know, we really got to worry about here just because it's it's just a letdown spot. I mean, you think about they're going to have the, you know, Franco and the Immaculate Reception stuff taking place, all the all the legends coming back into Pittsburgh for this night. And it just is kind of setting up for that letdown uh, on Christmas Eve. So I kind of share that sentiment uh, as far as this being the game to worry about. Um, and what was the other part? What was the other part of that? Because now I'm just Kenny stuck Pickett, on the, the Raiders. But before, before uh, we dive into Kenny, I do want to go off of that. So what's worse? Okay. So what's the worst yeah. situation for a Steelers fan to have Christmas ruined after James Frank or yeah, James Franco, Franco Harris's number gets <laughs> retired, the immaculate reception anniversary, the whole nine or Losing in week week eighteen to the Browns, you still had a shot going into the game, and it's your first matchup against Deshaun Watson. Yeah, that sucks. Um, yeah. I will say, I mean, just get me get me as many games that are meaningful as possible. I mean, That's the fact that of, yeah. you know, I kind of go go to this is the fact that so many people, if you go on social media and just follow Steeler fans and look at their tweets throughout the season. You would think that this is like the worst season the Steelers have ever had. And the fact that we're even still talking about them having a shot at making the playoffs in a season like this is wild. So just give me as many meaningful games as possible. So I guess for that reason, I would rather have them continue to win and then lose in week 18 to the Browns, even though that would obviously suck. Yeah, I agree. I I think that you just need like some glimpse of how you you could see it so you could see it I, I go off of numbers and like how many people jump in the live streams how many people watch the 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 youtube channels the the audio how many people read my articles the whole nine and you could tell over the last two weeks like it has taken such a dramatic dip and like you know obviously it's me i suck but at the same time it's people are starting to give up on the season and that sucks to see because you don't want to you never want to be in a situation especially if you're the pittsburgh steelers where your fan base is like, all right, well, we're already looking on to next year and next year there's a lot of holes and we're going to dive into those holes. But like you just want to, you want to hold on to that hope as, as much as possible. I think this week is a good one. You win on Christmas Eve, you get people kind of like, you know, you get the energy flowing. And I think that moves us to Kenny Pickett, you know, like what Kenny Pickett has an opportunity to really shine a light on himself on Christmas Eve win against the Raiders who are, like you said, is not going to be an easy matchup by no means defensively, but also offensively. Like you have a lot of, you have a lot of things to overcome to beat this Raiders team. Who is, you know, I don't want to use the word red hot right now, but you know, they look good from time to time. And sometimes they look very good. Kenny has an opportunity to come in here, make Christmas amazing for Steelers fans, which is awesome. You know, he hasn't had an opportunity to really solidify himself this season in any big game. He's either been hurt or, you know, for some reason or another, something has happened. This is the opportunity in my head. He comes back. What are your expectations for Kenny? You high on him going into this? Or are you uh, you a little shaky after he missed a game? No, I mean, I, I just hope he continues to build off what he was starting to put together prior to that injury. Uh, it's just so unfortunate because, like you said, like you're going to view him 
and I think a lot of people will based off what they do in big games and his first shot at playing against the Ravens, unfortunately, you know, he goes out with a concussion. Yep. So, you know, now to come back on Christmas Eve, like I said, with, with, you know, Franco and, and honoring him, getting his number retired, all those old ex Steelers there, all the legends in house. Um, this is another spot for him to just kind of like put a, not, not stamp yet, but take a step in showing that he can be a franchise quarterback for this team. Um, and, you know, all eyes going to be on him, obviously prime time on Christmas Eve, national audience, Yep. Um, I, I, it's, it's just funny to me that, you know, we were talking about, uh, and I've seen this on Twitter a little bit, not saying that you, you're there, or, you know, I've even seen many people in the media say this, but it, it's funny to me that we were talking about, you know, should Mason Rudolph play over Mitch Trubisky? And, you know, now it's like, should we, people were saying, oh, should we even go back for, to oh, Kenny Pickett after it. the performance Mitch Trubisky had? <laughs> like it's the people just search for this controversy. Um, but yeah, I guess my hope is just Kenny Pickett was really starting to put together some nice performances following the bye week. Um, you know, he's never going to light it up on the box score in this offense, but not turning the football over, making plays with his legs, getting off that first read. You were starting to see some signs there taking steps forward. Uh, it's unfortunate that we that he took a step back and wasn't able to play against Carolina because especially with Carolina's defense, the way they looked in this game, that could have been another, you know, building block opportunity. Um, but I'm not worried about him, you know, going in and taking the next step in what we've started to see.